Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's a little bit dark in here, but we're just going to ignore that. I've made videos in this lighting before, so it shouldn't surprise you. So tonight, me and Jay are going to review my mermaids dolls that I bought while I was here. So we've got Bryn, and we have Monroe. I had to order Monroe online just because we could not find her. Yeah, we looked in two different entertainers stores and we couldn't find her. Yeah. Did you guys know the entertainer is a Christian company and that's why they don't sell Monster High? Yeah, somebody told us that after I like complained that they didn't have them. Yeah. It's so. kind of weird. Kind of strange. I mean, it would just make them a lot of money. You'd think they would abandon their Christian values or whatever and just sell the dolls, you know? It's not that serious. They didn't they did they sell G1 Monster High? I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, I'm dating the worst British person ever, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't go. I'm kidding. I didn't leave the house when G1 was um, around. I was busy in my neat lifestyle. No way. You just called yourself a neat. That's what I was basically. No way. You just called yourself a neat, unironically. It's what I was. <laughs> I wish I could be ironic about this. I wish it was a joke, but it's not. I have to be for real, unfortunately. Yeah, you gotta be for real. Oh, with no, ha, ha, it's not true. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. I'm, just, I'm being ironic. That didn't happen at all. I thought you were freaking out because you dropped her ring or something. <laughs> I okay. did not do that. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. You know the toothbrushes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna use that to clean. Okay, so which doll do you think we should start with? Bryn or Monroe? Monroe? Um, Bryn? I was going to say Bryn because we got her first. Yeah, we She's got Bryn She's been waiting first. here for ages. Yeah, all right. Let's talk about Bryn then. We'll ignore the lamp. We uh, need some lighting. So, um, yeah. My um, elephant lamp. Yeah, so here is Bryn in her box. She's pretty. I do think this is a very pretty doll. And I'm excited to finally have my hands on her. I admit, I was, o I was not really interested in the Slumber Party line. I probably would have bought some of them on sale if they had come out normally. But the fact that they ended up only releasing here made me want them more and also these two are just really pretty Bryn and Monroe are just really pretty you know what is your thoughts on Bryn Jay I like her she's cool yeah I think she's really cute she's the one that's most giving um pajamas yeah definitely honestly I think in terms of the ones that look most pajamas it's both of them because she's got that big furry coat like from the memes yeah yeah she was. She's giving Martha May from the live action, uh, from the live action uh, Grinch movie. Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say Martha May was Servatron? Yeah, oh, Martha May was so Servatron. Yeah, for real. And here's Monroe's box because this is a joint review of both of them. Um, that glare is insane. Yeah, I'm using. I'll use Bryn to cover it. Okay. So here's Monroe's box. It's basically exactly the same, just with um, pictures of her prototype. Her prototype features a darker red lip compared to the actual doll, as well as kind of more like dark brown eyes, whereas her oh, yeah, actual was, eyes are kind of- I was about of, to say, I just noticed the eyes were different. Yeah, they're kind of like a much lighter color, you know? Yeah, they're more like- They're kind of like a honey color, I would say. Yeah. Like a honey brown more than where this is like an actual brown, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fumbling my words today. <laughs> Yeah, so back of the box, once again, pretty similar to Bryn's. Uh, this reads, Chic and shimmering, glitter and glamour, only the most fashionable undersea looks will do at the gala. And this year's theme is slumber party. This is a fucking gala? Just let them sleep. I thought they were just going to bed. Yeah, just let them have a sleepover. It it just, I thought they were just going to sleep. It doesn't need to be a fashion event. Come on. Yeah, going to sleep is not a fashion event. Unless, um... Unless you're these gals. Yeah, and I guess unless you're a mermaid in the ocean. Uh, yeah. So let's start by unboxing Bryn. Let me know if you need me to block um, the light with her again. Oh yeah, please do, actually. <laughs> yeah, the glare is pretty bad. We're doing this by, like, basically candlelight with the lamp, it feels like. Because it's because it's a sleepover. Yeah, we're having a sleepover right now, so, you and me. So, you know, it's, it's candle lit because, you know, you don't want it to be, to be too bright. What is she stuck in here by? What is she stuck in here? Why is she stuck in here? Get out of the box! She is stuck somewhere. 
and I cannot figure out where. It's down here. She's like taped into place at the bottom of the box. That is so stupid. Okay, um, she's released. <laughs> All right, yeah, she's been freed. Now I just need to start cutting the ties to get her out. This is our biggest fumble yet. Yeah, um, we're doing a great job. <laughs> I think we're just very tired. Yeah, we are very tired. We went mini golfing. It was a great date idea. Yeah, you'll never guess who won. <laughs> yeah, I won. <laughs> it was not me. I never win. Oh, she also has the heart hand. Oh, she does. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. In the in the stock photos, she just seemed to have normal hands. Yeah, I didn't notice that until I just literally saw her right now. Okay. Um, I think I could just pull her out. Maybe. Is that wise? I suppose maybe. Yeah. Eh, some of her braids are stuck. Eh. Oh god. Why are some of them stuck and some aren't? Oh, some of them are tangled in the ties. Oh dear. How did that even happen? Wait. Yeah, look at that. This one's like tangled in there. I guess I'll just like. Yeah. Why aren't the scissors working? I don't know. They're, not, they're the not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not the best scissors that I just use them to cut my fringe. Eh, your fringe. Jay's British. I think they may have noticed. Yeah. Okay, so some of her braids got a little screwed up because of that, but um... Oh yeah, some of them are really... <laughs> some of them got really fucked up in there. Oh, she does have like regular unbraided oh. hair. I didn't expect that. I thought she had a full head of braids, but she has like a small section of like unbraided hair. I guess maybe that's to give it more volume without actually doing them all. Yeah. Which is a little probably. bit lazy. It's a bit it? lazy. Like it would be nice to see you know, but, full head of braids, but yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, so her tail kind of has like a weird like like it looks like she's sticking a knee out or something. Yeah. And I'm my question is how? Yeah. She's a mermaid and she does not have knees. Yeah. Oh, both of her hands are posed. She's got a a peace sign. The peace sign and the heart hand. Where is your elbow? Where is your elbow? It's right here. Why isn't your elbow working? Maybe we should move this box and um yeah. Here yeah. we go. She's pretty. She's so cute. So the only accessory she seems to come with is the slumber party bag. I didn't even realize she had that until I saw Monroe's. Oh, I, no. I broke it. <laughs> oh. I broke her bag. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? The fumbler. The fumbler. We've been saying that so much, and I don't think we can explain it to any We've of you. We've been saying it all day during yeah, golf. Um, broke it. Zoom in. I broke it. <laughs> so obviously not very high quality. Yeah, it's a bit easy to break. This is very, um... <laughs> not the no uh -uh. no uh -uh. Yeah, but fortunately, one of her hands still works, so she can still hold it. One of her hands still works. One of the... One of the handles. One of the handles, yeah. I was close. I was very close. <laughs> but yeah, she's actually really pretty. I like her quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we unbox the other one now? We shall. Yes, we shall. Alright, so we're just gonna leave Bryn there for a second while we unbox Monroe because um these don't come with stamps. Yeah, we we searched the box high and low. They do not come with stamps. You'd think they would because the last release of Mermaids prior to the Mermaids. Mermaids prior to this was the um you know, the winter ones and those came with stands, so where are the Maybe it's because this line wasn't actually supposed to come out. Yeah, these dolls do come with very minimal accessories. They just come with one bag compared to the Winter Mermaids, who came with, like, a million little things plus stands. But this at least means I can steal the stands from my Winter Mermaids when I get home, you know? Yeah. That's one positive of going home. I don't want to go home. Don't. I like it here. Don't go! I will stay here. Okay, so we've removed her from the box, and once again, something did get stuck similar to Bren, but... It was much easier to get her out, you know? It's much easier. I don't trust myself to do this little one off on camera. I'm gonna screw it up and cut her. <laughs> Would you like to use the scissors, Jay? Yes. Wait, where am I cutting? I was trying to get the tie around her, um, around her wrist here. Oh, this one? Yeah. 
I'm just trying to be too careful with it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're like a surgeon. You have the precision of a surgeon. I do not. I don't know where you've got that from. I'm hyping you up. Oh, okay. I thought we were just telling lies. <laughs> I would never lie. I hate liars and lying. See, you did it. You I have the precision it. of a surgeon. I did it. I did it. You're so it. cool. All right, so Monroe's free. I did not cut the ties around her hair. I just kind of yanked her out. I find that a little bit insane. <laughs> I'm completely normal. Her hair is so long. Yeah, it's literally the length of her fin. So, something about Monroe is that the pink in her hair is definitely, like, yeah. more visible on the box. And her face is pretty significantly different. As I mentioned, she had kind of reddish lips and brown eyes, as opposed to this sort of gray. And her face looks a lot more gentle here. Well, I feel like it was a lot more sassy on the box. Yeah, sassy, cunty, whatever you want to call it. Her outfit's cute. I really like how uh, furry, you know? She's got lots of fur. And also her hand is posed so that she can hold her um, her bag. Just uh, slap that on there. Oh, she's got weak ass fingers. She doesn't want to hold it. But there, she can actually hold it, which is cute. And then she's got the heart hand similar to, um, Bryn. to Bryn. So she and Bryn have the same hand. I actually didn't realize that about this line. I don't know if any of the others also have the heart hand. They probably do. Yeah, because she doesn't have that on Oh my god, she is so different. Yeah, she has like an entirely different face. They should have let her keep the dark brown eyes. It really adds so much to her. Yeah, the, it, more, the contrast is really good. Yeah. Meanwhile, Bryn looks exactly like her prototype. Let's get her over here, actually. Here, take Monroe. Okay. Ah! Sorry. It landed on my lap. It's okay. <laughs> I'm more apologizing for the noise I made. But yeah, see, like, Bryn looks almost exactly the same as her prototype. She's got the same eyes, got the same makeup, same lip color. Sorry, just, um... Yeah, we forgot to show a close-up of Bryn, so here she is. She's honestly really pretty. I like her earrings. I love her little gold necklace. Super cute. Uh, this top is cute. She's got, like, a little bra underneath as well. So it's not just the one piece. She's got two as well. I mean, uh, she has three with the yeah. coat and the two-piece set interesting skirt to be wearing f over your mermaid tail <laughs> i mean i guess the mermaid tail is like the panties what because the skirt's like sheer you know because you gotta have something underneath so it's like her pants slash panties leggings whatever you want and also the be. replacement for her legs yeah because she's not her hair is really soft. <laughs> yeah, they do use a nice nylon. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Brent's hair course. is soft, too. I really like the braids MGA uses. They always just feel really mm -hmm. soft, just like the rest of the hair. So, um, yeah. This doll's really pretty. I like them both. I think these are the best of the line, so I'm oh, glad yeah, these are the two sure. I picked up. Like, the other three are okay, except for this one. We, I, I don't like Kinsley. We hate Kinsley. <laughs> we remember her name because we hate her so much. And because we've seen her so many times in every single store. Yeah, for real. We're sick of Kinsley. Uh, Zuna was okay, but when I saw her in person, she was kind of ugly. And Casey... Casey's okay. She's okay. I just don't... I just don't really care. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll get her before I leave. I don't know. But these are the two I wanted most, and I'm happy to have them. As I mentioned, I did have to order Monroe online. The entertainer delivers fast. Yeah. I ordered her on Friday and she was here on Monday. So that was nice. I'm, I'm glad their service is that good because Build-A-Bear has, has been slacking. Your Karomi still isn't here. Waiting for my Karomi. Yeah, I ordered a Karomi for Jay. So yeah, here are both dolls together. I really like the hand molds, and overall, I think looking at these dolls just makes me sad Mermaids ultimately died out. Obviously, I think the reason it died was the price point. MGA was making these way too expensive. Like, the first wave I'm pretty sure at launch was around $30, and then the second was $40. Wow. The winter dolls were $40 at release. And it's not like MGA was making these super like high-quality, high-budget like they deserve to be that much the tails don't have like a joint they it was nice that they came with like um stands but the dolls were stuck being mermaids all the time you know yeah they were actually planning a fins to feet line that just never came out because the line got canceled is that the kind of thing where you could like swap the tail out for yeah you'd be able to swap them out and give them some uh legs, legs. 
It would have been cool. I really like this line, and hopefully someday it's more readily available in the U.S., but for now, I got them during my trip to England. <laughs> um, the entertainer does have them on their website, but I don't know if you can get them shipped to you in the U.S. Probably not. I don't think they ship overseas, but yeah. don't quote me on that because Yeah, damn I'm Christian guessing. company. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I gonna get cancelled? I don't know. <laughs> Jay just said something funny. <laughs> yeah. Repeat yourself. Okay, I said, you know what I've realised about these dolls? I would like them so much more if they were not mermaids. Exactly. I know that's the whole point of them, but I just think they're so pretty that being a mermaid kind of ruins it because it's like... Exactly. Feels limiting, I don't know. It's like, oh, well, yeah. here's the tail, you know? Yeah, I just the legs, like, the lack of legs. The hair and the faces are so pretty, and I like the like the top half of the outfits. And I I see the tail. I like their bodies. Their waists are so snatched. They are snatched. <laughs> yeah, the tails just let me down. I'm like, I remember the tails though, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, the tails are supposed to color change, but considering this one's fuzzy, I don't really want to put that in water. Yeah, no. This one not fuzzy, so I could put her in water, but I don't really care to. I don't know. But yeah, I agree. I do think that these dolls, it really limits their restyle potential, which is important in a doll. Because, you know, the tails are very specific to their mm. outfits, so it's kind of limiting in what you can make them wear without rebodying them. But even then, you would need a skin match, and Mermaids didn't get that many releases, so <laughs> I don't know if Bryn has a perfect skin match. She probably does. The first line has a lot of different skin tones, so maybe she's a match for someone from Wave 1. Maybe. I'm not sure. I actually and haven't seen many of these. I've literally only seen like this line and a few of them. Jay hasn't seen most of the mermaids. I've just learned that. Honestly, there's not that many. No, it's I only like know Brad about Zellas. these because you... Well, I've seen them on TV and I've forgotten what they look like. <laughs> but I know that these exist because you asked me about getting them. Oh, them. her thing's on backwards. Oopsie. It's been on backwards the whole time. Alright, we fixed it. What a big difference. But yeah, I think we can call it here. These two dolls are great. If you're able to get your hands on them, I'd suggest it. You know, if you want these two, I say go for it. I like them. I like these two. They're my favorite from the line. And considering the entertainer has them on sale for like 14, 15 ish pounds, in US dollars, they cost under 20 bucks. So I got a good deal. Although I did have to pay 25 for Monroe because I had to pay shipping. Yeah. Beep, 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 but beep. obviously you can only get these in the uk unless you like overpay for them and yeah as i seem to be able to tell from you know in stores the british yeah. folk we don't care for these very much it would seem yeah so if you can get a british person not my girlfriend don't ask my girlfriend I'm to help not you with this you. i am not helping you. <laughs> if you can get a british person <laughs> to help you get your hands on these uh yeah then do that i'm not doing pickups for anyone i'm sorry but i was overwhelmed by how many people asked me about it so i'm not doing that for anyone i'm sorry yeah. yeah i'm sorry i know it might be rude but my carry-on does not have unlimited space and neither does my luggage my luggage is full yeah. of clothes i brought way too much clothes plus the ones <laughs> that are easy to get are ugly and i don't think you want those yeah i had to order monroe online i could not find her in stores <laughs> bren at least i did find in stores but the store had less of her than the others, so... There, there was very, very, very many Kinsleys. They had Kinsleys. so many Kinsleys. And we refused to buy Kinsley. We so, don't like Kinsley. So we are not helping you. We I'm don't sorry. support Kinsley in this household. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna end the review here. Thanks for watching. We're gonna go bake cookies. Bye!